When plugging infinity in to e to the x over x squared, we get the indeterminate form infinity over infinity. So this is a very straightforward limit to evaluate using L'Hopital's rule. I'll leave a link in the description to my video where we do just that. But we can also observe the behavior of this limit using a series expansion with e to the x. e to the x in the numerator is the same as the sum of x to the n over n factorial, where we understand n goes from 0 to infinity. So these two things are the same. But then we can split up this series a little bit and consider how this division of x squared interacts with those terms to get a clear idea of the behavior of this limit. In particular, we may rewrite it like this, where I've divided every term in the series by x squared and taken the first two out. So for example, the first term of this series is when n equals 0, and we have 1 as the first term, which would end up just being 1 over x squared after that division. The second term of this series is when n equals 1. That gives us x divided by 1. Once we divide it by x squared, we just get 1 divided by x. Every other term of the series we could leave as originally written, except with 2 subtracted from the exponent of x, because of course every term has been divided by x squared. And on looking at this expression, it's quite easy to see the behavior of this limit. This term goes to 0 as x goes to infinity. This term goes to 0 as x goes to infinity infinity. And then in this series, we just have infinitely many terms with x's raised to non-negative powers, and x is going to infinity. And so it's clear that this limit diverges to positive infinity. We can also think of the breakdown of terms here in a little bit more detail. Because we divided by x to the power of 2, we took out the first two terms from the series. Those are the terms that have x in the denominator. And each of those terms, with an x in the denominator will certainly just be zero since x is going to infinity. So we have two of those terms that are going to zero. Then the first term of this series is just one over two. But if we consider the next term when n equals three, we would have x to the power of one divided by three factorial, which looks like this x divided by 2 plus 1 factorial. Aside from that, we would have infinitely many other positive terms throughout the rest of this series. The terms are positive because they all just consist of x to some power divided by a factorial, and x is going to infinity, so everything here is positive. In particular, by taking this term out, it's very clear this goes to infinity. What we have in the denominator is just 3 factorial, or 6, but the numerator is getting arbitrary arbitrarily large, and of course, adding infinitely many other positive terms is not going to change the fact that it diverges to infinity. Additionally, writing it out like this, we see how this limit would behave for other powers of x. We were considering e to the x over x squared, but if it were x to the power of 10, for example, where we have 2 written here, we would just have 10 instead. If it were x to the power of 10, we could have taken out 10 terms from the series that would have x's in the denominator. Then in the rewritten series, we would start at n equals 10, and that first term would be 1. But then the next term would be the 10 plus 1th term, and we'd have 10 plus 1 factorial in this denominator, and again we'd get x in the numerator, and we would have x getting arbitrarily large divided by some fixed integer in the denominator, plus infinitely many other positive terms. So indeed, the limit of e to the x over x squared as x goes to infinity is infinity. And this is the behavior of the series, no matter what that power of x is. Stressed out, sweetie, I'm stressed out. Sounds like you've been stressed out. Tell me what you're stressed about. Mama. Stressed out, honey, I've been stressed out lately. Don't know what's what, don't know what I'm stressed about. Stressed out, sweetie, I'm stressed out. Sounds like you've been stressed out. Tell me what you're stressed about.